Hey, Dad. Gosh, I... I really don't know where to start. It's been a while, hasn't it? I've been meaning to write to you for quite a while. Ever since I got here, actually. But you know how it is. Time gets away from you. Things are always coming up, and... And after the way that we left things, I just thought... I know it's probably silly and... Probably outright foolish, but... For some reason, I had this thought in my mind that... You wouldn't want to hear from me. I know that... I wasn't always the most obedient child. I wasn't the easiest to deal with a lot of the time. But still, things were never all that bad between us, were they? Even so, I had this nagging thought that if I sent you a letter, you would burn it or tear it to shreds and never respond. I had that sinking feeling every time I picked up the pen. And I know, I know it sounds ridiculous, but you know how I am. You know that sometimes I tend to overthink things like this, which, which is another reason why it took me so long to write to you. There's something that I've been wanting to tell you. Something that I knew a long time ago, but... But for some reason, I just... couldn't exactly say it. I didn't really know how to say it, I guess. And even though I knew that it wouldn't change things, some part of me thought that something bad would happen if I actually looked you in the eye and said it. I wanted to, though. So, so many times. When you, Mom, and I were sitting at the dinner table, when things were quiet, I would sometimes look at you, and I would just want to blurt it all out. But I couldn't. But now... Tomorrow's graduation. Things are flying by so quickly. I know that I'm going to be in a lot of dangerous situations. I know that there's a good chance I might not... might not ever see you and Mom again. So I just feel like I need to get everything off my chest right now. Dad, I... I like... I like girls. I think I might like boys too, but I know for certain that I like girls. Romantically, I mean. I mean, obviously you know that I like girls as friends. After all, when we still had our village out in the woods, I got along so well with the other girls. Obviously, I like them enough to be friends with them, but... But I like them enough to be attracted to them as well, romantically. And... And I told someone here about that. Another girl. After she told me that she likes girls and... 
I met there was one specific girl she liked. She said that she likes me. We've been dating for a while, and we both agree that we love each other. That this is... This relationship is serious, Dad. I love her so, so much. I honestly think that if things were different, if my life had been just a little bit different than it actually was, I could see a real future together with me and her. I like to imagine that someday we'll be able to build a cabin in the woods and live there peacefully. Maybe she could garden and I could go out hunting. Or maybe she would join me. She's never hunted before, but I'm sure I could teach her. In fact, maybe... Maybe you could help me someday. Dad, she is... I don't even know how to put it into words. She is absolutely everything I have ever wanted from anyone. She's sweet. She's funny. She accepts me for who I am. She accepts me for where I come from. She doesn't mock me or laugh at me when I slip up in training. In fact, she actually helps me whenever she can. Of course, sometimes we both need to go to our friend Armin for real help studying, or to our other friend Mikasa for help in training. But she's always so willing to do what she can for me. She cuddles me every night. We eat meals together, and we call them our little dates. Sometimes we'll go out into the forest and just spend the night there, just the two of us. Not, not doing anything that we shouldn't be doing, of course. Nothing that could get us in trouble or get us hurt. We just sit in a clearing and hold each other while looking at the stars. And again, I always catch myself looking right at her eyes. I think the whole universe might be in her eyes. Every star, everything that ever was or ever will be, it is there in her eyes. I sit beside her. I play with her hair sometimes. I kiss her and I hold her. Dad, I... I have never felt this way about anyone before. You know that. Male or female, boy or girl, or anyone else for that matter, I have never felt like this before. No one has ever made me feel like this. Like, like my body is on fire and burning, but in the most delightful way. Every time she looks at me, every time she smiles at me, because of me, every time she says my name and says that she loves me. I feel... I feel like I've been shot through the heart. But instead of hurting, it just knocks the wind out of me. And after I regain my breath, all I can feel 
is this red, hot, burning love that I have for her that I never want to let go of, that I know will never fade away. I love her so much, Dad. She is absolutely amazing. Sweet, funny, compassionate. She's a little bit shy, of course, about our relationship. She does want to keep it somewhat private, which I do understand. There's another annoying couple here, Hannah and Franz. They're always all over each other, and not even in an inappropriate way, just in a very sickeningly sweet way. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad that they're able to find so much happiness given the circumstances, but I think they take it just a little bit too far. Still, still she knows that there's no reason for us to be ashamed of who we are. Everyone here is so supportive and... And my best friend, Connie, he's like a brother to me and he told me, if you don't marry her someday... I might actually have to slap you in the face. Because he agrees. She is... She's just perfect, Dad. She's like an angel on Earth. She is... I want you to meet her. I want you and Mom to meet her so badly. I know that we didn't end things the best. But I... I really do think that I want to marry this girl someday. I love her so much. And when I imagine my life without her, I just... I feel this overwhelming sadness. I feel like someone reached into my chest and ripped out my heart, and nothing can fill that void. I... I can't live without her. And I know I don't ever want to. So I want you and Mom to meet her, okay? And, and I know that this is all a lot. That usually happens with me, doesn't it? I get something exciting in my life, and when I tell you, I can't just tell you in a few simple words. I can't just take ten seconds to tell you. I need to tell you absolutely everything, because, because you're my dad. And I want you to understand exactly the joy that I am feeling. Because I love seeing that look on your face when you feel the joy that I am feeling. Like the first time we went hunting together. When I shot that arrow. And it hit its mark perfectly on the first try. I felt so proud and I could see it in your eyes. And, Dad, I want that back. And I want this to be what gets it back. This girl that I want to marry. This girl whom I want to be a part of our family someday. I want her to be... I want her to be the reason that we fix things. She's the reason for so many other things in my life at this point that... that I just want her to be a source of nothing but good. Honestly, I don't think she'll ever be anything but that. So, um... 
as soon as I can leave after graduation, as soon as I can take some time off, I would really, really, really love for you to meet her. I want her to meet you and mom and to see the forest. What's left of it anyway? If there even is anything left. I want to show her all of my favorite spots. I want to show her everything. I hope that's okay with you. And I really hope that my fears are wrong and that you won't tear up or burn this letter when you get it. I miss you and Mom so much. I love you both. So much. Please don't ever forget that, Dad. <laughs>